The cold front we've been talking about for the past week, it has finally moved into the Brazos Valley. Luckily dry out there right now, so you're not dealing with the wet roadways, but that'll change heading into the overnight hours. So give yourself a few extra minutes to get to where you're going tomorrow morning. We're going to see the wet conditions and the cool temperatures as well, sitting at 52 degrees in College Station. A little bit cooler in Bryan. They've actually slipped down to 50 degrees, 39 in Marlin, 42 degrees in Waco. And when you factor in those strong northerly winds, it's feeling like the 30s across our northwestern zone. 32 in Marlin. We still feel like we're at 50 here in BCS, but those wind chills going to continue to fall as we head into the overnight hours as some cool air continues to rush into the area. Two degrees is what it feels like in Amarillo. So as you can see, those cold temperatures, they are coming from the Texas Panhandle. Nothing showing up on radar right now. A little bit of drizzle outside of Bryan College Station. We're expecting that to continue to fill in as we head into the overnight hours. So again, it's likely going to be a wet start to the day tomorrow morning and we're seeing some snow across not only parts of New Mexico but up into the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. Plethora of winter weather alerts here. We have winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories as well as ice storm warnings in effect for western parts of the state. So if you have to travel along I-10, I-20, I-40, I would recommend not doing so. Give yourself maybe a couple days before you travel because it is going to be completely icy and snowy out there over the next 24 to 36 hours as we see precipitation continue to expand across this part of the state as an upper level storm system starts to approach. That creates a lot of lift in the atmosphere. Temperatures pretty cold at the surface, so that's why we're going to see the wintry weather up there. Just some rain here in the Brazos Valley as we head throughout the day. Isolated in nature, going to be more on the drizzle side, but we will see heavier precipitation heading into the day on Wednesday as that upper level storm system works right across the Red River Valley. That's going to add just a little bit of instability in the atmosphere, and that's going to lead to some showers and storms across the Brazos Valley all below severe levels. So that's the good news. And the second thing is we're not going to see temperatures fall below freezing, so we're not going to see the threat of any wintry weather here in our area. So Good news here. Uh, we're not going to see the severe weather and not going to see any wintry weather. The culprit is this upper level low that's over the southwest going to scoot off toward the north and the east as we head in the middle parts of the week. That's going to create the shower and thunderstorm chances heading into Tuesday as well as Wednesday going to reinforce that cool air right into our area. So temperatures going to fall throughout the day on Wednesday. But as the system works off toward the north and the east, we're going to see a drying trend temperatures climbing into the mid 60s to end the week under sunny skies. So get ready for the nice conditions just in time for Friday Night Lights as well as some Aggie football conditions going to be absolutely beautiful out there. A little bit on the cool side, though, still below average by about 10 to 15 degrees. And those temperatures will continue to fall heading into the overnight hours. Most areas are going to be into the 40s, a few upper 30s for our western zone. Keep in mind with the winds out there, it's going to feel like it isn't 30, so it's going to be cool. You want that jacket tomorrow morning. You also want to make sure you have the umbrella. We're going to see a few showers possible across the Brazos Valley. Eastern zone actually going to stay in the 50s and 60s, so it's going to be a little warmer out there as that cold front stalls. It may try to back up heading into the afternoon hour, so that could allow BCS to climb into the low 50s, and then to the east of that front, of course, temperatures are going to climb into the 70s maybe some low 80s for southeastern parts of the state and then our western zone is going to remain in the 40s throughout the day tomorrow so it's going to be winter like out there and then we see a reinforcing push of that cooler air as we head into Wednesday, that's going to drop those temperatures right back down into the 40s. So it's going to be a winter like pattern over the next 24 to 36 hours as those temperatures remain in the 50s. But we do see an increase heading toward the end of the week as those temperatures increase into the 60s and eventually the 70s by Sunday and then temperatures increase even more heading into next week. Stay tuned. More KX after the break.